Hello guys, um, here's your Mr. Tabletop Painting and today I want to show you how to paint the Dark Marshal. So, um, I think you start to pr uh, with priming your Mini in black. Use uh, Chaos Black Spray or Army Painter. So, um, when you base coat your Mini, um, let it dry and then start to paint um, the metal areas. So I, I want to start with the metal areas and then with the black areas. So um, I think we can start with tin bits um, because it's a good color to have a bit rusty and darker metal um, because uh, I think he's a ghost and not a real person so uh, we need a bit old metal and uh, well we will start so put some tin bits, uh, tin bits on your brush then on your palette and stripe most of it uh, off and paint in uh, a bit of it, not a lot, only a small base coat, a bit like a dry brush. A dry brush is maybe a good option, but um, we needed a base coat, so the best thing is to paint it um, with a normal brush, but you can also use your dry brush or uh, a detail brush or what else. So paint it, um, paint all metal uh, areas and um, well it will be easy to have a base coat for the brighter metal um, for example then bolt gun metal uh, or metal silver uh, I don't know the real uh, English word or the name of the new color of the brat. Uh, oh, I think it's uh, Renfeng steel. So um, we will highlight them. And well, I think, uh, yeah, I think we will stop there and um, I will paint it and then show it when it's finished, okay? So, um, then well, I finished the uh, metal base coat with the thin bits, you see that? Um, uh, well, it's a bit too dark, but you start to dry brush now um, with uh, your dry brush uh, I think Mm, do dry brush with bolt gun metal your metal areas so um, take a bit of your paint and then dry brush your tin bits areas your tin bits area and um, you have a nice dirty and a bit rusty result so it is uh, it's a good base coat for the whole mini or also for um, so EV, uh, evil minis um, of Lord of the Rings or some uh, orcs or mortar stuff and well you dry brush over all uh, dark areas, so all over your um, tin, uh, over the tin bits, and then I think we can start with the next step to highlight this small um, dry brush job here, and then you use uh, your brightest metal. I use there 
I think it's Rune Fang Steel. A bit shaky. Then you dry brush a bit. Only the highest parts. So um, I will try to make some pictures of every how-to at the end of the video um, to give you some better uh, examples how it looks uh, how it look um, a bit near to the mean itself so you done this uh, with the first base coat um, with your tin bits then dry brush Vulcan metal and then uh, Minter silver or runefang steel and to have a bit darker you use um, but a black, so a, a black wash. Um, also with your dry brush, uh, yeah, with your dry brush. So you have some metal pigments of your paint in your wash, and you put some water to it, and it will go only to the recess. So will have a dark silver tone um, and then well it looks very old and of course better than with the normal dry brush it looks natural so You see, um, you paint it and then I think we wait until it's uh, that dry and um, I'll show you the next step. So guys, um, now it's dry and we will make some um, uh, yeah. I think we will make some green rust um, with some cotton swaps <laughs> and uh, I think it's very easy to make it to put some green stuff there and uh, well I think we start with um, well I start with Macridge blue uh, you can start with uh, Stegadon scale green then Sotek Green and then Temple Guard Blue. So that's the way how the book does it. And well, I make my own one, so I start with this Macridge Blue. Well, Macri yeah, Macridge Blue. So put some of your blue, uh, of your paint, on your cotton swaps. <laughs> and well, now we will paint some close area. For example, um, on, on the head there. So we will need that. Maybe not on finger. And there's a small laser pointer coming out to the mini. <laughs> so, you know we are two now. And, well, we need some fun to make these videos. Maybe with a laser pointer or with a book. Um, so. You made some areas now um, with your uh, base coat with your blue or your scale green 
and now we will paint um, the second one and I think I will use my uh, um, detail brush because we have to paint the second layer, the highlights now in the recess, not like the um, like the normal rust um, from the recess to the uh, highest points. Now it's different. So I use now also uh, Sota Green um, because it is it's better. So take some of it, then put some water. And now we will try to make it like in the book. And well, I think it will be very cool um, because it looks old and well kind of professional work and well, looks better so there was some areas And so here and there, some of your soda green. And you're ready for the next step. Or you can also layer it a bit, or you make it randomly. Make it all painted like you want. So now I will use a 50 50 mix, um, Sota Green and Special Gray because I have no Temple Guard Blue and um, I have only the Lothan Blue, but it's too bluish, I think. And I need a bit of this green tone, so I will highlight it a bit um, with a 50-50 mix. Uh, Sota Green and Space Wolf's Grey. And I think it's normally the same color. You can use uh, also white uh, to have it more uh, brighter than uh, without so I use the Space uh, Wolves grey because I use the blue color um, as a base color and then I think it looks better when I have this um, well <clears throat> this blue green tone and start to paint it. So in the recesses or there where the uh, darker parts are, there you have to paint uh, your highlight color um, to have it natural. So, a bit more on the edge here. I'll make it now a bit randomly. 
and a bit faster. <laughs> <clears throat> So, um, I think it's a bit too bright and shiny. Um, now you have some options. Uh, first option is to um, give it a black wash, so a shade. Um, or you use some glaze stuff. Um, why watch a green and gimmer blue? But I think I will change. Uh, well, I will use the black one. So the first option. Uh, maybe you put some water to it to have it a bit uh, normally, and then put some wash on your green rust. This uh, that looks very good. And now um, the black parts. I think I will start with a. F uh, well, I will highlight it o uh, only because I want to have the recess black. But um, the higher parts, uh, I want to paint it from. Shadow gray to atmospheric gray, so a blue gray tone to a normal gray and a very bright gray. Uh, maybe you can use a base coat, uh, not only shadow gray, so you can use a 50 50 mix black and shadow gray um, to have a bit darker, but I think. There's no difference between this, and I think uh, we we will use um, this shadow gray stuff. So highlight um, only the highest parts. Try to paint exactly on the high spots, not on the recessed, um, because that looks not so nice. And you have to, um, I think, repaint it because you need some black parts again because you paint the dark parts, so the black parts with your shadow grey and that's not so good and it looks not so good. So, um, I will finish this and I will be right back. So guys, um, I finished the shadow grey base coat and um, now we will paint the first highlight with codex grey. Um, also only the highest parts of the mini and um, the black parts. So paint in and um, so paint so that um, your shadow gray parts are under the gray parts but um, that you can see um, these shadow gray parts 
so I will try it. I need more water and we can start now. Paint all the these parts and try to have only smooth area and um, well good light effect. I think it will be awesome. <laughs> So I think I will finish this too and I will show you the last steps to finish this model. So um, the last step will be um, to highlight with your highest, uh, your brightest gray tone. So I use Atmospheratum Gray. Um, well, and I think that will be a nice highlight. So start to highlight exactly only the highest parts where the um, light is shining. So let's start. So try to paint it and I think we will paint also some weathering down there um, so because he walks through well different um, terrain stuff, rocks and um, well it's dirty and his gloves are dirty too and I think we will paint this and for this I will use some um, bestial brown um, maybe some washes or <coughs> uh, camera brown or coffin brown I don't know we'll see right now um, because this is finished now I, th I think it's finished so you can wash it with a black wash to have it a bit darker because I dry brush a bit more to add a bit dirtier and well I think it looks great and I think we can start with the uh, rubbering and for this <coughs> we will paint uh, first of all you use uh, your dry brush and then we will paint uh, with pastel brown I think pastel brown or maybe uh, first of all 
you use um, kind of dark flash <clears throat> because it's a bit darker so use dark flash um, and well dry brush the parts near the the ground so a bit like a bit like this um, so here's the base and I think there will be some uh, brown shadows now and of course there um, down there so I think here will be the best part to dry brush a bit um, to have some weathering with your dark flesh and then we can highlight it with our <clears throat> Bester Brown and that we will do now so take your dry brush then your uh, Bester Brown and dry brush the last part So, um, I think I will use also some pigments, um, black pigments and, uh, well, brown pigments. Then the, ba uh, the base, I think I will paint it, uh, well, paint it gray, so uh, it's prime black, then paint it gray with um, codex gray, dry, uh, dry brush it with codex gray wash it and dry brush it again then you can use some pigments um, to make it a bit darker or you use a bit of your dark flesh and dry brush the base to have the same color um, from the base to your model and well you can use uh, a second highlight with um, I think it's snake bite leather. So if you use that, um, you have to be very careful um, because it's brighter than the uh, uh, Bester Brown. And you have to dry brush only the highest parts. So the highest of the highest of the highest parts. <laughs> um, that's important because it looks uh, it looks not good or not natural if there's everything um, brown so try try to make it like this then a bit of base you see that a bit of base then I said how to paint that uh, so stones normally codex gray um, wash then codex gray again and then for example, a higher uh, administratum gray or <coughs> a brown tone or something. So I think we finished this now. Um, I will take some photos and uh, some pictures and I will show it. So I hope you like it. Subscri please subscribe, comment and um, share this. So thank you and goodbye.